Shalom Israel. Shalom, Shalom. This brother Amaziah. First and foremost, call Allah Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shad, right? Which means all praises to the Most High God and His only begotten Son, right? Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And by you, you see by this title, hey, we got to go into, you know what I'm saying, a lot of things that the women of Zion deal with, right? Which is wicked and off in these last days, right? Because this world, right, and, and by the evil people that's running it, right, and it's keeping us down in this lower state, it got our women acting like whores and thinking it's normal, man. Thinking that this is the right thing to do, right? Thinking that being a whore... Showing your body off, right? Doing and showing your body off for money, right? It's it's normal, man, right? And it's the right thing to do, right? But uh, if we go, I'm gonna show a couple uh, clips, man. I'm gonna show a couple clips and I'm gonna go into the scriptures, right? So this first clip I want to go to, right? Is on Facebook, man. Check this out. Your ass out this car, your life I don't mean that much. Get out this car. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to She's trying to get her money. Look at her. Yeah, she is. So if you don't know what's going on, right? This and I said, I don't even people saying that it's a grown woman. It's a young people saying it's a young child. Hey, either way, hey, this woman's prostituting, right? God forbid this is a young child. Right, I'm gonna show the other clips, right? But hey, this is this is this is what our women doing in these last days, right? Horn themselves out for money, man, right? Because this is the state that our people in under these curses, that they are freak off for a piece of change, man, right? So let me get this. Uh, let me let me show other. Let me play that again. Let me show the other clips. Your ass out this car, your life ain't nothing. Don't mean that much. Get out this car. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to She's trying to get her money. Look at her. All right, that's all. Yeah, she is your right? ID. And I, I want to make a point real quick. Uh, this this Eve's your right there, well, you know what I'm saying? Kind of rebuking her. <laughs> kind of telling much. her you can't get be doing car. that. Right? So, hey, I want to get this, I want to get this precept real quick. Because they kind of rebuking them, man. And if our people did that more, hey, our, our, our communities would be in a better state than it is, right? Let me get this in Leviticus. Chapter um, 19. Salakia. That's Exodus. Salakia. I'm going to go to Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Right, because if our people was rebuking more, hey, if our people was rebuking our people more, man, and, and correcting them in the right way, right, standing against evil, right, hey, our people would be in a better state, right? So let me write this real quick. Leviticus 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And that's what those E's out there doing, right, to that woman that's hopping out of the, uh, the East Indian call, man, or whatever nation he is, the damn heathen call, right? Rebuking it, like you can't be doing that, right? And and they might be just only saying that because she looks like a young woman, God forbid that she is, right? They they rebuking her, they getting on her, man. It says, "Thou shalt thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, meaning correct him, and not suffer sin upon him, right? You don't want to suffer sin upon your brother or your sister by allowing them to go off." Right, allowing them to just whore out themselves for money, man. No, you got to get on them. It says, "Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people." Right, and we got to start loving each other, man. Right, meaning we got to correct them. Right, only our people. Right, we can't worry about these other nations, man. Right, that doesn't love us. We got to worry about ourselves. But it says, "But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself." I am the Lord. So what these women was doing in the uh, in, in, in that video, they was getting on them, man. Right? You can't be doing that. All right? So I'm going to go back real quick. I don't mean that much. Get out this car. Right, tell her to get out the car. Right? So let me get the other clips real quick. She's trying to get you. Five years old. No, for real. Cause you and I think she was trying to prove that she wasn't underage. Damn, 
show me shit. What's your real idea? This is my idea. That ain't showing me shit. You too little, baby. You're not. Why are you getting on her, man? Why you too little for that? You are too little. Look. She not grown. Look. And this is this is just sad, man. With a black in her hand, right? Hey, this is this is just sad, man. The 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 the, the state that we live in, there, man, as a people, right? And all these other nations, they know that we living like this. They, they mock us, man. They laugh at us, right? They're happy that we live in this uh, and living in uh, the ways that we live in, man, right? Because they got us exactly where they want us. Let's go that. Let's go back to uh, Psalms eighty three, right? The crafty council, right? This is where they want us, man. Right. But we got to rebuke each other, and correct each other. Right. And live by the laws of the most high, man. Come back to the most high and serve him. Right. Let me uh let me play this last little clip. Right. It's madness. Let me help. You is so little. It's so cold out here, baby. Right. And look at that. Right? Another point, man. Right. And I'm going to bring it out. Right. And if I offend you. Right. Hey, if the, if the shoe fit, wear it, man. Right. Hey, this damn, uh, this attire that she got on, man, right? What's the difference from what the women were in these days and what prostitutes were, right? You can't tell a difference, right? You know a police officer by his uniform, right? He has the badge, he has the baton, he has the cuffs, right? He has his gun and his taser, right? And you know that's a police officer by the uniform that he wears, right? You know a firefighter by the uniform that he wears. You know a doctor by the uniform that they wear or a nurse, right? And you know a prostitute by the uniform and the attire that they wear, right? Revealing clothing, right? These short-ass shorts, right? Or the damn see-through. They got women wearing see-through leggings now. You can see everything. See-through tops, right? Hey, they got the, uh, they show their cleavage, right? Hey, they, they, they weren't revealing clothing. Hey, you gonna know a woman, you gonna know, a, uh, let me get this precept, so like you. Let me get this precept real quick in the book of Proverbs. So like you, so like you. This damn app, man. So like, yeah. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, and verse, where do I want to start at? I'm going to just start here, just get to the point. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtile heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without. Now in the streets. And lieth and wait at every corner. Right? And that's... Hey, you know that's talking about a damn prostitute, man. Right? This says she's in the attire of a harlot. Right? And what's the attire of a harlot? Hey, a prostitute, she puts on tight clothing. Right? Revealing clothing. Right? So that she can uh, uh, sell her body. Right? Right, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put it out there like that to sell our body, man. Right, that's just she can make some money, and men can freak off, right? So they can lust after her and want her, man. Right, they put on this the tire of a Harley, right? And that's what our women do, man. That's why they and and that's that crafty council again going into these other nations because and that's what they pushing on the on the TVs, right? They putting these damn artists in these uh, high positions, right? So all these young girls can see them, right? And the women in the world can see them, right? And think that that's what I gotta wear, right? To uh, uh to to fit in in this society, man, right? And to and, and men and men push it too, right? Because they love they love seeing these uh, 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 revealing clothing, right? So they can lust after them, right? Men is not telling women a hey, cover up, right? Hey, the men of the Lord out there telling them women to cover up, right? But these these niggas in the world they want to see that man. They let they they let they woman go out uh with these damn revealing clothing, like they damn some type of trophy or something, right? Hey, these women got to cover up in these last days, right? Or the Lord gonna catch up with them, right? I wanna get a precept. Going into a hey, the women of the Bible, man, they covered up. Right? They didn't have the attire of a harlot on. Slocky. They didn't have the attire of a harlot on, man. Right? Let me get this real quick. Book of Genesis chapter 64. Right? 
I'm gonna start at uh yeah, sixty-four. Let's see what let's see what the righteous women of the Lord did. It says, and Rebecca lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? Right? So she was seeing Isaac. She like, hey, what hey, who is this? Right? She trying to, she trying to, she trying to inquire of him. Like, hey, who is that? It said, and the servant has said, it is my master. Therefore, she took a veil and covered herself. Right? It says she took a veil. Right? If you don't know what a veil is, right? If you if you think of a woman getting married in this in this white man society, and she has that veil over her face, right? And her husband lifts it up, right? And and, and kisses her, right? That's that veil to cover her face. Let me uh, let me pull up a picture real quick. So like you, picture of a veil. So like you, get it. Let's see if I can get the image, right? That's hey, that's a veil, right? She covered her face up to be. Let me get see if I can get one. Ancient days. So lucky. Like, yeah, let's see if I can find a good picture. Well, you get the point. That's that's a veil, right? To cover your face up. Right to be to be discreet, to be meek, right, to be humble, right, not to not not to have the attire of a harlot on, right. She covered. Hold on. So like I gotta finish that. Therefore, she took a veil and covered herself, right. She didn't rip the damn t-shirt down the middle so her cleavage can show, right, and, and try to lift her bra up so her boobs can prop up that a lot of these women do, right. She didn't get the tightest pants or the tightest shorty short, short shorts where her butt can hang out the bottom, right? Or the tightest skirt, small skirt, right? And if you bend down, you can see things. Or the damn see-through leggings. Hey, she didn't do that. She took a veil and covered herself, right? And that's the right. That's what the righteous women of the Lord did, right? And that's what women of Zion got to be moving in in these last days. Right? Not in these revealing clothing. Not in the attire of a harlot. Right? Just like a damn prostitute. Selling yourself like the video I was just showing. And that's off. Let me get into the law real quick. Because it's off, man. Let's see what the Lord said about these damn uh, uh, harlots and hoes and thoughts and strippers, man. Right? Let's see what the Lord said. So, like, this is the book of what I want. Let me go to Deuteronomy. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse 17. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse number 17. It says, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Hey, it says it shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, man. Right? The Lord's not dealing with whores, man. Right? Because if you a whore, right, you're gonna ultimately go into sin. You're gonna be fornicating, right? Committing adultery, right, and doing all lewdness and wicked acts, man. Right? So the Lord said it can't be no whores of the daughters of Israel, man. Right? And those whores gotta get put to death, man. Right? And that's what's gonna happen in these last days. A lot of these wicked Eves, right, that's out in the strip clubs, right, that out there whoring and selling themselves, right? Wanna be thoughts, hot girl summer, right? All this uh, all this uh madness, man, right? And they're gonna get destroyed, man. And the Lord's gonna destroy these women in these last days, right? And there's more women than men on this on this on this earth, man. Right? So a lot of women gonna get it, man. Right. And I got to just put it straight, straight like that. A lot of these wicked women is going to be put to death. And it's not going to be for no reason, man. Right. Because they was going the hell off. Right. Wanted to be whores. Thought it was cool to be a hoe. That's off, man. Thought it was cool to be a thought. Catching by getting bodies. That's off, man. Because what? Hey, let me get this preset real quick. Stand up. Let me get this precept real quick. 
in the book of Leviticus. Because, hey, if you was a daughter of Levi, let's see what happened if you was a daughter of Levi. You was a damn hoe. Damn whore. Book of Leviticus chapter 20. 21 and verse 9. It says, and the daughter of any priest. So if you was a daughter of a priest of a Levi, is she profane herself by playing the whore? She profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. Right? So, hey, back then, if you wanted to be a whore and you was a daughter of the priest, hey, it was going to be a real hot girl summer. Right? Hey, it was going to be it was going to be a hot girl summer for you. Right? In the midst of that fire, man. Right? You're going to get burnt. Right? It's going to be the it, hey, it's going to be the hot girl summer, man. Right? And all those girls that wanted to be hot, right? They ain't going to want to be hot no more. Right? That's why the Lord casted those judgments, man. Right? So the people around you, man, hey, they they stop, man. They they won't want to get put uh put to death and burnt. Right? So if you were the daughter of a priest, hey, you hey, you had to get burnt, man, cuz you you were feigning the priest, man. So let me get the um Salakia. Let me get this other precept in the law real quick. In the book of Leviticus. Because hey, our people need this law, man. Our people are lost, man. This so-called white man system ain't doing nothing for our people, right? They're not having laws and, and, and a government system that's set up for us, right? And they keep us at the bottom. Hey, Biden's giving us crack pipes, Right? They're giving us uh, Section A and EBT to get the man out the house, right? The, the so-called white man want to be the woman, man. And, and hey, ultimately, them uh, uh, Esau being the the uh, the father, right, through the government of the a black woman, so-called black woman and Hispanic woman house, right? Hey, they not giving them enough that they need to survive, right? And they gonna go freak off in the strip clubs, right? In the damn uh uh uh, uh, uh on these only fans like out there on the street corners actually prostituting right hey these women going out and doing these things man because it's the, the way this system is set up so let me get this other precept in the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29 let me bring this out real quick it says check this out I'm gonna bring up a video after this Book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. Actually, no, I'm going to get the video. Actually, I'm going to bring it out. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Right? A say, don't prostitute thy daughter. Right? You teaching her how to damn be a prostitute. Right? And I see a lot of these women in this world, right? They dressing their daughter up in these revealing clothing. Right? Like they dressing them up like it's a damn, like they're a damn dial, man. Right, having these revealing clothes. You wanna you wanna be best friends with your daughter. Right? You teaching her how to be a damn hoe, man. She's seeing you going uh, all these different men going in and out of the house. Right? You 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 she's talking on the phone. You talking on the phone while she's around with all these different men, right? Talking about how your damn date went and what you gonna do next time you see him. And that's off. Right? You prostituting your daughter and you gonna cause her to be a hoe. Pro cause her to be a whore, man. Right? Let me read it from the top. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. And we can see today, hey, this place is full of wickedness, man. It's whores everywhere, prostitutes everywhere, strippers everywhere, right? And if you talk about them, hey, they're going to try to down talk you, right? That's because, hey, we going to speak against, we going to speak against evil, man, right? And we're going to let it be known, man. Right? Let me get this precept. What I want? Uh, I think I want more. I'm going to get Psalms 94. Let me get Psalms 94 and 16, man. It says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Hey, the Lord's asking the question. Right, who's gonna stand up against this evil, man? Right? Or is you gonna just let it go on and on? Right? You're gonna let your daughters be whores. Right? What are you, who's gonna stand up for the Lord and righteousness and stand against the workers of iniquity? Standing against those that break the law, statutes, and commandments continually, day in and day out, right? And 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 the night, man. Let me get one more precept on that in the book of Amos. I think it's the book of Amos, chapter five. 
in verse 15, if I'm not mistaken. Con. The Lord said in the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 15, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. Hey, the Lord said, hate the evil and love the good. And we're going to hate all evilness that the uh, that this world portraying, man, right? We're not loving these thoughts. Like uh, 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 <laughs> Chief Keep made a song, love no thotties, man. Right, we're not dealing with thotties. And when we see a thought, we're going to rebuke her. We're on, we on uh, highways and we're going to do it in wisdom, of course. We're on highways and byways, right? Or it's a, a, a family member or, or so what. Right? And we're going to let them know that that's off, man. They can't be doing that, man. Why? Because we love them. Right? We want to correct them. We want the Lord to be on their side, right? We don't want the Lord to cast judgment upon them, right? And we're going to, that's why I said establish judgment in the gate. Right, so we gotta let you know when you're going the hell off. Right, you can't be a whore. You can't be a thot. You can't be a stripper. You can't be a prostitute. You can't do these things. Right, so let me uh, let me get this video real quick. It's madness, man. And right, you see that viral video shows mom teaching toddler daughter stripper moves on pole. Right? It's off. And this is exactly what that preset is just going into. Woo! Okay, can you hold it? Okay, sit on me now. Sit on me. Okay. Alright, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Just sick, man. Right off. Madness. Wickedness. Evil. Right? And the Lord's going to destroy women like this, man. Right? Are you supposed to teach the women how to love their husbands? Right? How to be discreet. Keepers at home. Not whores and prostitutes and strippers. And how to slide down a pole. To get a damn... uh uh. George Washington dollar in your G-string. That's off. That's madness. Right? Lord willing, that child doesn't grow up to be as her mom. Because that's madness, man. Right? And it's sad. It's sad the state that our people live in there, man. Right? You just want to you want to get in that Nehemiah spirit sometimes and grab them up. And force them to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. And swear. To God that they're going to keep them, man. Because it's just madness. Right? Teaching her daughter how to be a damn prostitute. That's off. Let me get let me uh, get this other precept. I ain't going to be too long. So like uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 26. And verse number 9. And it reads... The whoredom of a woman may be known in her hearty looks and eyelids, right? And, and uh, that's that's going into the attire of a harlot also. Women want to put these damn uh, eyelashes, long eyelashes on, right? Which they call cumbrellas, right? I ain't going to get into that. They want to put these damn long eyelashes on, all this makeup, kick their face up, right? A said a woman's going to be known, right? Uh, uh, the, the whoredom of a woman is going to be known in these things, right? So if you want to use discernment, right, and see what type of person that you're dealing with or talking to, right? And the Lord is showing you what uh, uh, things these uh, whores is going to have. These uh, known in her eyelids, right? It's going to be known in her looks, right? Hey, the Lord is showing you these things. Let me read on. It says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through much uh, liberty, right? And through all these liberty, right? This like, These damn uh, uh, young girls these days, man, they got much liberty, man. They do whatever the hell they want. They going out to uh, clubs. Like they going out to uh, these young girls, man. They have a hotel parties. What the hell are you doing in a hotel? Damn, 14, 15. Why, what are you doing? 
That's too much liberty, man. Let me read on. It says, watch over an imputed eye. And this is, and you just, and if you let them do this, you're training them up to be a whore. Right? That's what you're doing. You're training them up to be a whore. It says, watch over an imputed eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. Right? We know, we, and if you got ears to hear, you understand what this is going into. Right? It says, as a thirsty traveler, when he had found a fountain of dr and drink of every water near her, by every hedge, she will sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Right. And, and like I said, if you got ears to hear, you understand what that's going into, man. Right. All I can say is, you know what I'm saying? And she get around, man. Right. She's she's dealing with multiple men, right? She's going the hell off. She's being a whore. She's being a prostitute. She's being a thot, right? And that's off, man. That's off as hell, right? So in these last days, man, if they don't, these women don't repent, turn from their wickedness, right? Because some women, in this truth, they was there, man, but they repented. They turned from that, man, right? Now they're not doing it no more. Right now they serving the Lord. Now they're covering themselves up. Let me get this other precept real quick. Let me get a couple more and I'm gonna close out. All right, let me get uh actually I'm gonna jump down. Let me jump down. Uh verse 22. Cause check this out. This says Book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 22. And harlot shall be accounted as spittle. Right? It said, hey, a harlot is like spit. Right? And what does the Lord um, also uh, refer to as spit? The other nations. So these damn whores and harlots, right? Other children of Zion, other daughters of Zion. They like the heathen, man. They like spit. They nothing to the most high. It says a harlot shall be accounted as spittle. But a married woman is a tower against death to her husband, right? And that's what these women need to strive to be, a married woman, right? Let me read on. It says, a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, right? And, <laughs> and, and this part, I love this verse, man, right? Because it's true. These women were wondering why they got these, uh, what they call no good niggas, Right? They call them ain't uh, these. They say they always make a post. These niggas ain't shit. Right? Excuse my language, but that's what they say, man. These niggas ain't nothing, and they wondering why they keep getting Tyrone, Rail, Ray Ray, Pookie, Man Man, Latrell. They wondering why they getting these niggas in the world. And why they he keep putting his hands on her? He keep uh, uh messing around with other women behind her back, right? And she's wondering why are these things happening. It's because you off, you wicked, you a damn whore, right? You caught feelings after having sex. That's off, man. That's a lust. They call it a lust ship. It's not a relationship. It's just lust. And when that lust gone, it's over. That's why you keep wondering why you keep getting these wicked men. It's because you off. You wicked. Let me keep reading. It says a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. Right? And that's, and that's what you got to be, man. You got to be a, 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 a righteous, godly woman, keeping the commandments, right? Doing what's required of you as a woman of the Lord. Then you're going to get that righteous man, that covering, that protection. I want to jump down to 25, one of my favorite verses. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, right? A woman that's shameless, she don't, she like she don't give it. And that's a lot of women in this world. They're like, they don't give a damn. I can do whatever I want. I can wear whatever I want. I can say whatever I say. I can say whatever I want to say to whoever I want. However I want. 
and you shameless. And the Lord said you counted as a dog. You a beast. You ain't nothing. You you spit. You nothing to the most high. Right? So you got to be shame faced. But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. A woman that's shame faced, and she going to fear the Lord. I mean, she's going to keep his commandments. She's going to have respect unto the Lord and his words and do what's commanded of her. Right? So let me get it. Let me get these closing precepts, man. And you daughters of Zion, right? You got to stop. You got to stop following this world, man. It's, it's did no good to us, man. It does nothing but destroy us, man. And it's so bad to the point that our people don't even notice it. It's sick, man. It's sad. Now, let me get these closing precepts. Because Lord willing, they, Lord willing, they repent, man. Let me get this real quick. Uh, where I want to start at? Uh, let's start at 9. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, so if you want to be a damn fornicator, a whore, a adulterer, right? All these things fall under you being a whore, man. Right, because you fall, you gonna be a damn fornicator and an adulterer, right? Trying to sleep with all type of men, right? Going to hell off, right? And you not gonna get the kingdom, man. None of these traits is gonna inherit the kingdom of the Most High, man. Right, so it's in your best interest to fear the Lord and be shame faced. And not shameless. Let me get uh, this last piece up, and I'm gonna close out. I ain't want to make this too long. And Shabbat Shalom to the saints of the Most High. Let me get this last one, and I'm gonna close out. It's the Book of Luke, chapter thirteen, and verse number three. Book of Luke, chapter thirteen, and verse three. I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So unless these wicked women repent, put away their sin, right? Cover up, start keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Teach the, the, the young women at home how to love their husbands, right? And, and follow the commandments also. And you're going to get put to death. Hey, the Lord's going to send these evil angels on you, Right? It's going to get you out the way, man. Going to cut you down in the land of the living if you don't repent. All right, so Lord willing, right? Hey, Israel was edified off this video, man. Lord willing, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Eve was watching the video, right? She took heed, right? And started examining herself and understanding that, hey, she got to, she, you got to, you got to fear the Lord, man. Right, you 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 doing all this stuff is is uh is you falling into Esau's plan, right? The so called white man and these other nations plan, right, to keep us low. But if we keep start we start keeping these commandments, and we gonna be back on top. So with that, Shabbat Shalom, Lord willing, um, Israel, y'all uh continue to keep the faith, and continue to pray, read, fast, study. Right, stay diligent, right, keep patience, work on the fruits of the spirit, right? And uh um stay steadfast and unmovable in this truth. Right? And and wait on the Lord. Don't lose patience. So with that, I'm gonna give a Kwame Asharala Shalom.